Hey guys, it's Cody with Taking 20 and welcome back to my Roll20 Master Series. So one question that I get asked almost every single day is about how to create tokens, where to find them, where to download them, all that stuff. So I know I've talked a little bit about that in the past uh, with using some of the tools like my DM map markers video, but what I wanted to do was walk you guys through exactly how to create your own set of tokens. Now, there are a few different ways to do this. So I'm gonna break this down into two videos and I'm gonna keep them going pretty quickly. If you already know how to use token tool, then great. I'm gonna do the first video. This video here is gonna be on using token tool and then another tool that I found that is pretty easy. So if you want quick, easy, convenient, and something that looks kinda nice, that doesn't take a lot of work, that's what this video is for. After this video, I'm gonna do kind of a part two where I'm gonna walk you guys through actually creating a token ring for yourself uh, that you can kind of customize it. It takes a little bit more work, but honestly, I think it looks a little bit nicer. So, I hope you're ready. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get to it. So the first tool that I have for you is a tool that I have briefly covered in the past with my DM map markers video. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to create tokens with this. It's very easy. It's what I used for a very long time. Uh, and if you're just getting into gaming online, either with Roll20 or Fantasy Grounds, I highly recommend this tool. It's easy to use and the, the tokens come out great. So Download token tool from maptools.net and I'll include all of the download descriptions, uh, download links in the description below. You can check that out, get it downloaded, get it uh, installed, extracted, all that jazz, and open it up. When you open it up, you're going to come to this screen. Now, on here, you have a few different things to look at. You can basically change the size of it if you, if you need to. Honestly, the 128 is fine. 200 by 200 is, is fine also. You can see you start to get a little bit of distortion, but you have to understand that when you upload them to Roll20, they're gonna shrink them down on the map anyway, so it's not terribly relevant. Uh, I would probably just stick with the, the 128. It looks just fine for me whenever I put these tokens out on the map. Over here, you actually have the different rings that you can select, and you can, I'm just gonna kinda Will through them here real quick so you can see some of the uh, the different options that you have by default. Okay, and let's just pick a nice simple ring. Uh, that one looks boring. Uh, there you go. I like white. White's perfect. All right, so we've got white. Now all you need to do is find a picture that you like. I would recommend Deviant Art. They have uh, NPC portraits, or you can Google Dungeons and Dragons NPC portraits and that gives you a really good selection from DeviantArt typically. Just download them to your computer once you have them downloaded, grab the file, drag it over here, drop it anywhere onto this pane, and then just simply shrink it. Zoom it around until you get it to the height that you like. Make it a little bigger. This is kind of a harder image to do actually because of how long it is. Um, and then once you've got it, you just go file, save token, save it to a place on your, your hard drive that you want and upload it to roll 20. If you want to quickly make a bunch of tokens for all of your, your players, you can just drag another tool on here, another picture, excuse me, zoom it out to about where you want it. And just like that, you can make tokens very, very quickly. Now, one thing I did want to show you is uh, that I didn't talk about in the map marker video is that you can actually upload your own rings. So if you find other rings, you can upload them here to token tool and you do that by going to file manage overlays and you can basically drag and drop right here. It says drag and drop. You can drop an extra overlay onto uh, onto this background. So I've made a couple uh, and let me just show you one that I've made. So, you know, nothing fancy, just a, a little different. Like the coloring of that one a little bit better. And so you can actually use token tool to create your own um, custom overlays when making your tokens. Okay, so that's the first tool. Now let's talk about token stamp. 
Okay guys, so now we are looking at another tool called Token Stamp 2 on RollAdvantage.com. It works very similar to Token Tool, it just has a little bit of a different capability. Uh, it's a little bit more customizable, but you also can't upload your own uh, overlay, so it's not as customizable, if that makes any sense. Let me show you what I mean. So just like Token Tool, we're gonna grab an image that we like, and we're gonna drag it over here and drop it into this little pane. Next, we're going to just line it up, make sure that it's it's kind of centered the way we like it. Good. Looks good there. Now, we can go over here to this border tint, and this is what I meant, where, whereas it's a little bit more customizable. So if I really want like an orangey kind of ring, I can do that very easy. It took me a couple seconds. It was very quick. Um, Token Tool can't really do that. But at the same time, you're pretty much just stuck to these overlays here at the moment so uh if they upgrade it in the future maybe i don't know but this this tool here this token stamp 2 is very simple to use it doesn't require anything to download it gives you enough customization <laughs> customization uh and it's it's pretty quick it's fast so i do like this tool as a backup option to token tool and you can see here you know they've got some kind of kind of insane rings uh, that you can see over here and they even have a strong fade. I'm not crazy about the strong fade, but um, I wish it was smaller But uh, uh, they do have some things to kind of give you a nice simple easy um, Token to create here and you can also add text So get the text lined up kind of where you want it first Because the one thing I've noticed is it's a little difficult to go back and change the positioning of it once you've Once you've kind of set it up. See I can't really grab anything Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now now I can grab it and drag it. Well, I apologize there. That was that was a little bit easier than I thought. All right, so you can also add text to it, which is really nice. There are two simple, easy tools to use to create tokens quickly that look kind of nice um, for your games. So that's pretty much it for this video. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create a more customized token I'm going to show you guys where you can use gradients and transparency and shadows and all those things. So be sure to check out that video after this one if you want to create something a little bit more complex for your tokens. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cody, and may your games be filled with awesome memories and even better friends. I'll catch you guys next time. One, two, three. You didn't know you got to say it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, buddy. Mm. All right, kiddo. I love you.